gang, Glenn here, and it's time for the latest Legion of Collectors box from DC and Funko. This is the Suicide Squad box. Now, before I get into it, a little bit of a rant. Two things that make these boxes fun to open. Number one, these boxes in particular are exclusive items. They're stuff that you can't get anywhere else. They're just made for the Legion of Collectors box or the Smuggler's Bounty or the Marvel Collector Core, what have you. All these Funko boxes, they're exclusive. So that's one thing. The second thing for me is that they're a mystery box. Part of the premium I pay for these boxes is the fact that they are a mystery. Now some people love the spoilers, whether you're talking about TV shows or movies or mystery boxes. They love seeing spoilers beforehand so they know what's coming in the box. I have no problem with that. The problem I have is not being given choice. Now what I mean by that is what Funko has been doing with this box particularly and the Marvel Collector Core from last month is they they uh, cut off subscriptions at a certain date. Then they start shipping out boxes. Well, the last two months, basically the day they started shipping out the boxes, maybe the next day that they started shipping out, they do their own unboxing and spoil the box. Now, you don't have to watch that video, which is, you know, which is what I'm not doing. And it's great for people who like spoilers. But as soon as they post, an unboxing like that, people that don't care about other people basically start posting screenshots and start posting, uh, you know, what is in those boxes. So you're in the regular Funko groups or you're in some sort of subscription box group on Facebook, let's say, or even on Twitter. Uh, you don't have to be a group on Twitter for this, but all of a sudden all these spoilers start popping up because there are certain there's a certain section of people that number either are trolls and they know they're going to get on people's um, they're they're going to irritate people by posting spoilers and they don't care that's what they want they want to create that whole uh, people going crazy or number two they just don't care they're like okay here's what's in the box you know deal with it so. Um, the fact that they post an unboxing so quickly, Funko this, that is, so quickly after they start shipping the box, before even ha probably even half of the people have their box, really irritating to me. Um, I've been able to avoid spoilers on these boxes for the most part, um, and pe most people are pretty good about it. But this, uh, this month, the day before I got this box, bam, they're... There's the pop posted it in my in my news feed. Not in a comment, not anywhere, just straight up posted. And uh, so you can't avoid it. And a lot of that comes from the fact that they post their unboxing so quickly. So that's my rant. I don't like that. It, it kind of ticks towards not getting this box. You know, part of this box is the mystery for me. And I shouldn't have to put the work in to unfollow everybody or not get on on uh, social media until I get the box. That I shouldn't have to do that work, right? So rant off, let's dig in. Suicide Squad, I already know what the pop is. I don't know anything else. I managed to avoid everything else. And obviously I didn't watch the, the, any unboxing videos. So let's check it out. All right, the inside of the box, we've got the cast of the movie. Some pictures there. Pretty cool. A lot of what I'm hearing about these Funko boxes is that they're getting repetitive, they're getting boring, they always have patch and pin, comic, pop, or you know some sort of Funko item. Um, but isn't that the point? You know, if you're getting a pin or a patch in five boxes in a row, and then you don't get one because they want to change it up, well, the whole idea is to collect the pins from all the boxes, to collect the patches from all the boxes. I don't quite get that. That doesn't bother me at all. If you get tired of it and you want to unsubscribe, that's fine. But calling for the box to change it up because it's getting repetitive, I just don't quite see the calls for that. 
Um, all right, so let's check out the action pin. The pin is Deadshot, and it's the movie Deadshot. So this box is very focused on the movie um, of Suicide Squad versus, you know, the older comics and things like that. So there's Deadshot there. Nice little focus there. And then the patch ha features Katana. Katana. Very cool looking patch um, for this box. All right, let's check it out. First thing we're going to see is the spoiler card. I, I mentioned this before. I dig that they're doing spoiler cards now or content cards, whatever you want to call them. Um, because I just think it, 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 it's a really pro thing to do in your box. Um, we've got an ad for the next uh, one coming out in, was this, uh, September? That is Women of DC. Very excited about that. Uh, and here's the spoiler card. We're not going to get into the spoiler card until I get through the items, but we'll go over it afterwards. All right, the comic is on top. Of course, it's a Suicide Squad comic. And this one features... Movie Harley in pop form. Legion of Collectors there. It's pretty cool. She's got the Joker cards. And a uh, variant cover as always. Obviously, I'm not going to open up the comic quite yet. But um, there you go. Pretty predictable. But a cool Funko Pop cover nonetheless. All right. We'll do the shirt first. Um... Just peeking at the spoiler card, it doesn't look like there's a variant. Looks like everybody got the same shirt. And it's the Suicide Squad lineup in pop form featuring the Joker right there in the front. And you can see the uh, Deadshot character on the on this side. Um, helmetless. So you can see Will Smith's pop face. Uh, Initial initial impressions of this shirt. I like it because I always like shirts that are a different color than what you normally get. It's not black. It's not gray. Right. It's not. Um, it's not the usual color you'll get in a box geeky shirt. So I like this um, this shirt a lot. You know, I've I've got all the shirts that have the pops on them just because we've been getting these boxes, and this is a great one. I love collecting these kind of things because. Um, you know, it's a consistency thing, and that's why I don't mind, you know, the items in these boxes being the same all the time because they're not the same. They're a way to collect the comics. You know, you can look back and you have all of the pins from the boxes. You have all of the shirts. Um, you have all of the patches, things like that. So I dig the shirt. Good color, good design. Can't argue there. All right. Well, this is different. Um, this is a... Funko figure, let's see, it's not quite a reaction figure, but it's the same kind of thing, and it's Harley. Um, it's a, you know, one of those articulated figures um, that you might, you know, get as a kid, but it looks very much uh, like a reaction figure, but it doesn't say reaction anywhere. Um, you know, it's Funko for sure. And looking at this, it looks like there's some variants. Could have been Harley, could have been the Joker. So this one is Harley, which I prefer anyway. Because anything Harley Quinn, I dig. Um, you know, I'm not much into these particular kinds of figures. This is really just going to kind of sit around. Um, but uh, it's it, there's your different item. You know, people call for items that are different in these boxes um, because they're getting the same. Well, there's, oh. I take it back. I got both figures. So we got Harley and the Joker. Um, that's actually not bad. I mean, uh, double figure action. Um, you know, from Funko, we generally are going to have items like mugs or, you know, things like that. But this time, more figures. So um, I know a lot of people probably would have preferred, I'd say, a Dorbs or something like that to these little mini reaction type figures. And I get that, but not everybody's going to like the figures in each box. And you know what? It definitely is not going to keep me from getting the next box. I just know that it's going to be something different next box. You're not going to like everything in every subscription box. Which is why I think you know people complain about subscription boxes. I think most of the people that complain about subscription boxes shouldn't be getting subscription boxes. Because they kind of miss the point sometimes. 
it's a mystery. You're not going to like everything in the box. And to complain about it and say, oh, I'm not getting that box anymore. Though that's fine, don't, because subscription boxes are not for you. Sorry for another mini rant. But it really irritates me when people get irritated with the box items when they fit the theme, they are exclusive, uh, they totally belong in that box, but you just don't like that particular style of figure or that particular mug or whatever, um, don't get subscription boxes. Buy the stuff individually yourself. And that's always the argument against subscription boxes is, well, I could just, I'm just going to buy the stuff that I want to get. That way, there's no chance I'm going to have something that's sitting around that I don't like. That's fine. You know, that's what trading is for or whatever. But, you know, if it's like saying, uh, it's like saying I like fish as long as it's not too fishy. Well, you know what? Um, it's an old Jim Gaffigan joke. I don't think you like fish. Right? So, I like subscription boxes, but I don't like when I get stuff that I'll never use. Well, then you don't like subscription boxes. Just buy the stuff yourself. Um, so, that's kind of the feeling I'm getting from these figures, is a lot of people are going to be, well, why don't I just get a Dorbs? Why don't we just do two pops? The double pop boxes are really popular. Well, yeah, the, the boxes are generally built the same, but they want to have some different items in there. Can't just be pops all the time. All right, so... Not my favorite type of figure, but for the box and what they are, I think they're, it's a good choice. And then the pop. This is the part that was spoiled for me. Uh, this is Enchantress. And this is an exclusive. And what's different about this versus the regular Enchantress is I can't even really tell what the difference would be. Because um, you see on the back of the box... There's an Enchantress down there that's number 110. So it looks like this is the only Enchantress pop in the line. You see all the normal, quote-unquote, normal pops up at the top until they get down, they start getting down into the variants with that first Joker. Uh, and the variants are the Joker, a couple of Harley Quinns, actually three Jokers, a couple of Harley Quinns, Deadshot with um, his, uh, his helmet on, and then Enchantress. So the fact that there's no other Enchantress pop, to me, makes this even better. If this were just a variant of a Enchantress pop that already existed, I'd be kind of meh on it. But it's the only one. So I dig that. I think the pop looks cool. Let's take her out. Female pop, so obviously comes with a stand. Wow, this is heavy. And the reason it's so heavy is check out her hair. It pretty much takes up the entire pop figure. Look at it from the back, you can't see her at all, except her little feet. But bam, her hair envelops the entire pop. It's it's unique in that way. I've never seen a pop like this. Um, is it gonna appeal to everybody? Probably not, because it's a little bit on the ugly side, if you wanna call it that. But this is an ugly character, right? These, these, aren't, these aren't pretty characters, these Suicide Squad guys all right so the hair is just amazing to me it weighs so much and it envelops the whole pop that i really dig it um and it's a good thing it has a stand because i think with this hair and the weight on it i think even with the stand she might not stand up too well but it looks all right um so there she is with the stand so there's your enchantress pop so that is the box let's go over the spoiler card spoiler card this month um has again a lot of behind the scenes stuff you can see the concept art for the shirt a uh, couple of um you can see the original cover for the suicide squad uh comic and actually i have that comic i got it in a different box i'm not i don't remember which one but now i have that comic and then the uh the variant cover exclusive gives you some concept behind making the enchantress pop see uh the reaction type figures which they call an exclusive an exclusive format so it's not that packaging or format you're going to find in anywhere else uh, and then pin and patch of course and then the final product of the pop figure all right so cool spoiler card i always like that um this box 
I'm going to give it an A. You know why? Because it's what we expect and it's, it's the quality that we uh, come to expect from Funko and uh, these boxes. So I really dug the shirt. The figures, the more I look at them, I think they're, they're pretty cool, especially being exclusive. This isn't a format they use in any other box. Patch and pin look great as always. Um, variant cover, it's exactly what you expect from this box. I really dig it. Um, and, you know, people complain about the pop, but I think it's incredibly, uh, it's, it's, it's unique and it's incredibly well done, uh, regardless of how people feel about the look. I just think with the hair enveloping her and the, the detail on the tattoos, and I just think it looks great. Um, I can't complain about this box. It's definitely a box. So that's about it. Uh, hope you enjoyed. I know it's an early unboxing, so a lot of people aren't going to be watching this until they get their boxes later, hopefully. Um, but let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, throw us a like if you liked this uh, video. And uh, we'll be back soon with uh, a brand new box that I haven't unboxed before. Uh, and I got it specifically for one reason, so it's you know, it's one of those boxes that I'm not going to do on a regular basis. It's more of a one-shot, but I think it'll be really interesting. So we will check that out. And until then, we'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.